Yeah, tournament is flying by for sure. Too fast for me, but you know what? We have, and I don't know if Chag actually got DQ'd or if it was one of those things. I don't know if you, I don't even, I kind of feel like Yeah, I just looked at the bracket and saw that. I feel like I know the answer, but you haven't played in an online bracket, have you? I uh, know. No, no you can't be me, check, bro. <laughs> you forget to check in after five minutes, it auto DQs you. And I feel like that's what happened. I don't think Chag's DQing. Gotcha. I'd be surprised. I'd be surprised. But I always forget to do that. Um, mostly because I was concerned with my switch overheating and uh, blowing up. Because I have to put my switch in the fridge in between sets. That's how bad it's gotten. That's actually kidding. insane, dude. Uh, I can't play for like more than an hour without it overheating. So I don't know what the deal with that is. Hold on, what we got? What's the deal going on here? I gotta say, Sonic's really appreciates gameplay. Uh, I think he's uh, one of the best Sonics almost actually at this point in the world. I think he dude. probably is. I mean, Ken also is a factor that can't be ignored though. Ken, Sonics, and I feel like we're uh, Wrath obviously is way up there too. Oh yes, yes. A couple of them out there. Sonito is going. really strong as well. Sonito, nice, good. Yeah, there you go. Now we're now we're getting them there. Some some Sonic player uh, deep cuts. Uh, I feel like there's another one that we're forgetting that's kind of obvious. Um. Anyway. No, it's not coming to me. Koopa, there it is. Got it. Yo, Koopa. true facts, RJ, dude. There it is. That, uh, what was I thinking? Koopa plays his Sonic and the Belmonts. I don't know, man. I don't know how how he endures all of that, but either way, man. Fast Game one coming up. Alive. Game one coming up. We got Sonic Forever against regular Sonics, actually. Uh, Game of Watch against Sonic. This is certainly clash of the wi-fi titans uh meister i mean both of them are really good offline too uh obviously that's why i said wrath because everyone kind of you know don't talk about him as much but he he was really putting sonic on the map before corona hit his frostbite run was ridiculous it was super good he dominated against a lot of really really strong players i think he 3 0 uh Pisaramon. is that how it went i think so oh wow okay yeah i mean there were huge expectations on Pisaramon too because like he was winning a ton of stuff in japan he has basically single-handedly gotten them to believe that Fox is a top character. He 3 0 Mars? Yo, Swiftly? yeah, he did. And Swiftly. with all the light experience in the world. I know, but to me, I'm like, Light and Mars, when they fight each other, it's like a whole different thing. It's like, it's just a different thing. It just is. Right. They played for so long. But anyway, uh, yeah, man, game one starting off. Kind of what we expect here. A little slower match, but I truly believe. I think everyone, you know, you complain about slower characters. You play about these characters who are super safe in the neutral, super safe, you know, when they're when they're getting pressured. But I think there's something to be said and something to be learned by whatever character you play and however you play. I think there's something to be learned from both of these guys on the sticks because they found so much success uh, with their characters, who everyone wrote off at the beginning of the game too, by the way. So you gotta give yeah. them credit. True, Sonic and Game and Watch both really uh, did not have a lot of faith in them at the beginning of Smash Ultimate. But you know what? I think what's interesting is that Game & Watch wasn't really even that good in Smash 4 to begin with. So for people to have doubted him is a little bit nutty, right? It's like, oh, this mid-tier or like low mid-tier yeah. is even worse now, but it's like actually quite the contrary. He's probably one of the best characters in the game. Definitely one of the most anti-meta picks. This is this is the best iteration of Game & Watch in terms of being relevant in a meta, for sure. He was solid in Brawl 2, don't get me wrong. He was solid, especially when the game first came out. The back air was like super broken when, when the game first yeah. came out, but... You realize you can just tornado through it and it wasn't a big deal, but... <laughs> or, like, just outspace it and up yeah. till, or up be it out of shield. Yeah, a lot of chemicals oh, yeah. discovered. I feel like the same thing is going to happen to Ultimate Game Watch. That's my call. I feel like, uh, you know, Rob at Game Watch, Snake, these are characters that, like, the Brawl veterans have already seen and feel comfortable against. Mm -hmm. But at the beginning of that game, too, those characters were absurd, and they all took a strong dive on the tier list after a while. Remember, remember Omega Black Mage? Remember that Game Watch? Yeah, thing? dude, I oh, do I remember him. Yeah, Young Hazman had a win on him, that's what I'm saying. Nice, I got Brawl nice. Bra Bra Juice, dude. I'm saying, I'm saying. Anyway, uh, yeah, so Wrath, I talked about this the other, a couple weeks ago, but Wrath's run at Frostbite, like, through, uh, I don't know if he, I don't know if he had to beat anyone super strong to make it, uh, to phase two pulls. Oh, he had to beat Magister. Okay, that's, that's solid. So he had to beat Icy Mist and Magister, uh, and he beat both of them. 2-1 Icy Mist, 2-0 Magister, which kind of makes sense. Um, then he had to beat Glutiny. 3-0'd him. Jesus. Apparently a good matchup for Sonic is what I'm being told by, by Wario mains in my mentions. That's what they said. They're like, oh, that's a good matchup. I can see that too. Because no one capitalizes on, on moving away from people more than Wario. And I feel like Sonic can just do it like as strongly or, or, or stronger than he does. So, uh, and Then he lost to T3-1. That was like T's best tournament in his career or whatever. It's Pac-Man. Pac-Man's godlike. So. Uh, and then Wrath 
three two Kameme, three owed Matty G, three owed Pisaramon to make top eight. Just real quick. Three owed Toast, who was having the tournament of his life, and then lost to T again. He got double eliminated by T for fifth place. <laughs> Damn, I get like, T. Dude. dude, that's ridiculous. That's such a good tournament run. That's a tournament run of a lifetime right there. If it wasn't for T, he could have gotten even further. He would have played Leo, which would have been a great set. I want to see Leo come back offline, man. I mean, he's I he's still really good offline. He's still got some dubs under his belt for sure. But, like, we all know that, like... It's just a different meta right now, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. things will reset to normal once we're back in uh, real-life tournaments, if it ever happens. Yeah, who knows when that's going to be. But anyway, we got a Nailbiter here actually coming into the last stock. Three minutes left on the clock. I don't think we're going to see quite a timeout just because Meister's already at 110. He needs to make moves right here. He needs to make big moves, actually, is what I'm going to say. He needs to make enormous, make, make enormous moves towards the Sonic, which is exactly the position you want to be in. Look at that spin shot to the back of the head, too, with the back air. No jump. This is going to be tricky. Look at the movement there from, from Sonic. has got to give him a lot of credit for doing Trixie off stage, trying to hit Game & Watch in his recovery, which is just so, so hard to do. Honestly, I don't think it's really worth it with any character to attempt to do it. The up B is just too strong. It's so hard. And you give up stage control. You give up all the stuff that, as Sonic, if you just stay grounded and, and held the ledge, uh, or held, held down and did some ledge guarding, I feel like forward tilt, there's a lot of different options. You can see him plowing right through uh, the chef as well, getting the spin charge going there. Oh, okay. We're seeing more up up smash from Meister uh, than we have, I think, in a, in a while. I think he just likes using that move to contest the the spin dash because up smash obviously doesn't have the invulnerability it didn't smash for, but it still has some just on later later frames. And the other thing is you can't really punish it. So unlike what we're seeing from Mr. E, who was trying to side beam, trying to counter, and try to hit hit spin dash on its way in, if you up smash with Game of Watch, it's not the end of the world if you miss it. Like who cares? It's fine. Exactly. It's very difficult to preemptively challenge that move, and it's even harder to react to it because he's the fastest thing alive. So uh, I think Game & Watch is uniquely equipped to be able to threaten Spin Dash from half a screen away and just kind of get away with it. Look at that. You can charge for up to four seconds in this game, so why not? And you can see Sonic's even with a near 100% lead here. He doesn't really uh, feel too safe. It's like, oh, if I let the Spin Dash go, I could just lose this giant lead I have and look like a complete moron. Yeah. So um, I can understand his hesitance here. Yeah, and it's it's funny because I know everyone gave uh, uh, up throw. It's like a forward throw, maybe something. Uh, getting grab center stage that was not again Meister just understanding like the win conditions. Like getting a grab there was okay. You obviously don't want to take the damage if you can, but you're not going to lose the game quite yet. So that was a fine risk to take. And now we're seeing Sonic's. He has to land here. <gasps> he whipped a grab. This is bad. This is really bad for Sonic's. Meister thrives in these situations. It's funny, and I was going to say it's funny because everyone's giving Meister a lot of flack for. Uh, the Avatar State, remember that? Run around, up smash, down oh, smash. Yeah. It's kind of oh, yeah. good against. It's kind of good against Sonic. Like it kind of works, which is so funny to say. Cause you think of Sonic as, okay, is that oh. just gonna do it? Yeah, straight <laughs> up. I don't think I've ever seen that KO screen. Actually, that was pretty crazy. I have, I think, one time ever, and I was like, dude, really? Like <laughs> the frost spin dash kill? Like, come on, man. Mhm. Mm but yeah, man. Uh, I feel like Game and Watch again, just really uniquely equipped to challenge spin dash from half screen and that's why you're seeing sonics get a run for his money here um game of watch i think struggles in a lot of other aspects against sonic namely just the lack of ability to approach but um mm -hmm. you don't have to you know you can stand on the other side of the stage and again even being down 100 percent on the last stock it's like well if you have any thoughts of trying to close this match out right now you might just lose it all so it's just that constant game of chicken on um, you know can you call his bluff or not and more often than not, it's a better idea to just avoid it in general. Yeah, for sure. And I think we were talking about this earlier because we've seen Meister today overcome matchups where he's going to have to be the approacher when he had to play against um, DeBuzz's Minmin. So I'd like to see him and see what he can do in this this uh, adjustment here. It does... I'm trying to think of like options that, aside from... like Up smashing is obviously really, really good for Meister. I feel like shield and up B, I feel like might not quite work, but it's also really, really low risk. So if you try to up B and like it doesn't work out, like you're fine. You just go, you go for the early timing rather than the late timing. So that if you mess up the timing, you don't get hit. But instead, you just go up in the air and you're up being. So I don't know, man. We're going back to small battlefield. All these players are going to try to weave around these platforms in the neutral and try to stay safe. Oh, the air dodge at the last second. One of the few ways to cross somebody up in ultimate is to become intangible with a dodge. So. Um, mm -hmm. Sonic's just not ready for it, and I think, you know, this character kind of struggles to punish cross-ups on shield. Your back air is quite slow compared to the rest of your moves, and it hits high, which will go right over Game Watch's head. Yes, sir. You have corner pressure from Meister. 
He's hitting all these aerial buttons, all the way ending it with an up B2. And his Best up B trapper in the world. Uh huh, uh huh. The thing I love about Meister 2, uh, wow, the spacing was so good right there. It was actually godlike. That was super, super nice. The thing I really like about Meister's Game & Watch is the way that he uses up B to extend offense. Like, I think that is so unique and something that nobody would be doing with Game & Watch if it wasn't for Meister. So, you gotta give the man credit. He did write the book on the character. Yeah, completely reinvented, honestly. And Game & Watch was a very rare sight in Smash 4 in general. And then, you know, yeah. later half of the metagame, this guy comes out. I think he was like 17 or 18 when he started playing, um, you know, in like 2018. He's still very young. I think a lot of people kind of discount that. They forget, you know, they're like, oh, MK Leo is the yeah. child prodigy from Mexico. Meister is the same age as him. Or, uh, he, I thought he was a little bit older. He, he but might not, be yeah, one year older yeah. than Leo. Maybe one year older yeah, than Leo. He's now 19, close, by the way. Yeah, they're close for sure. Or Leo's about to turn 19, I think. But uh, either way, um, of course, both of these two, you know, Leo and Meister, within the top six of the game, Mexico's showing up huge. Um, and yeah, he invented the character in that game, and he's carried all of that over into this game, where Game Watch is arguably one of the most changed characters just by losing that fair. Yeah. Yeah, it was huge, but I feel like they kind of came around to it. I feel like Meister, he really... Uh, came up with a way to use that bear in so many different ways and control space with it. Look at that. I'm telling you, the Avatar state is good against Sonic. Like, it really is. It is. And it's hard really? to root against it when it's beating Sonic. <laughs> it's just low committal moves that hit hard. Really good against really good against Sonic's neutral. Good tech there, though. Sonic's... Look at that, too. I love the awareness from Sonic. So he teched, went back to the stage, saw Meister's offstage, and held down the center, and held down center. Like, good stage positioning, good stage control, and now it's paying off big time. He's able to pressure underneath his platforms. No real risk. I like the way he uses the platforms, too. Smash, obviously, a platform fighting game, and there's so many different ways to use them. Extend combos, jump on them, uh, use them as ways to escape the disadvantage, but the way Sonic's is kind of using them right now, and another option is use them kind of like an umbrella, where, like, you hide underneath it, and you if they go above you, like, you know you're safe because there's a platform kind of in the way, and you can react to that, and then you can maneuver around it. And if they don't, they're coming head, head first at you, and if you're Sonic, you're just going to let it rip, just like that. Yep, that's how you do it. It's a great yeah. option. Really good. Game & Watch with a rare way to just poke through the platforms with his giant down air, right? Like a lot of characters, um, it'll get eaten up by the time you collide with the platform, but Game & Watch has a huge landing hitbox on it too, and uh, the key can poke through. But Sonic can just either go into spin dash or crouch underneath the platform, and he's more than fine. So I think Sonic is playing the stage to its strengths, to his character strengths, and to the weaknesses of his opponents. So, oh man, the spin dash to fair. That move, as well as Pikachu's fair, just way too strong in this game compared to the yeah. last one. What a trade there. Meister actually getting the better end of that stock. We're seeing a very similar situation, Max. Last stock for both players. Meister, though, unhealthy at 110 is game of watch, but Sonic still does have to find that tricky KO move, which can be tough for, for his character to do as well. It's so hard to say Sonics and Sonic, like, over and over and over. <laughs> you know, I try to mix it up on commentary, like, uh, you know, say the character, or say Sonic, or say, you know, the Hedgehog. You know, there's a couple ways to mix it up, but when it's also the player's name, he's getting the Nair to close it out. <laughs> the Blue Trump. Blur. Taking the blur. game two. The Blur. Sonic's the Sonic with Sonic's Nair. See, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, it's just the apostrophe S, the IX, like, I might have to request a name change, all right? The Brimson Blur. <laughs> nice. Anyway, 2-0, Sonic's Looking very, very strong in the set so far. Was that a JV? Or did he? Uh, no, he got hit. He got hit. He got hit. All right. Leo was born in 2001, so he's about to turn. Oh, that was you who said that in chat. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> I was struggling to do math for a second there. But yeah, Leo is like nine months older than Melee. And I think Meister is currently 20, maybe 21. But yeah, he's you a lot younger than people expect. You saw my tweet about the kid who beat Hungrybox online? Uh, Azel? Uh, uh, is that, oh, yeah. Is Azel. Azel, yeah. He, or he's, Azel, younger, sure. he's younger than Melee. And someone commented on that and they're like, so what? I was like, are you serious? Like, he was born after the game came out and he's competing in it. Like, that's pretty cool. Like, that's something that really says something about Melee's legacy as, as an esport and as a game. So that's all I was trying to say. And someone was like, so what? I was like, uh, it's pretty cool. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Azel has been filthy for a hot minute, by the way. I yeah. remember, I think it was late 2017. I went to a Blood for Blood up in NorCal and he had a really good performance there. And uh, he's just been on a roll Ooh. ever since then. Oh! Oh, again? The double dip? Hold on. The old one two buckle my shoe? Uh, almost had it. Oh, there's that buckled shoe right there, kicking it's him in the saying, face. It's literally a shoe with a buckle on it. Like, that really yeah. worked out. It's like a, like a, on a pilgrim's hat. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it really Look is, it. dude. It's barely Halloween, and we're already cutting to Thanksgiving. Yeah, sorry, guys. 
Talking turkey. Uh, well, nothing wrong with that. Here we go, man. Yep. Yep. No oh, look at this fun. jive turkey ass character. <laughs> Dude, there's no reason. I like that from Sonic because he's he's really feeling himself clearly right now, but he still knows there's no need to approach recklessly. Is he dead? Okay. Is it? Another one. Like it's Palu's Nair. I'm like I'm dead. Or it's uh, get grounded by Game and Watch at 30. I'm dead. I mean, this doesn't matter. The forward smash is so strong. Yeah, this character's Azalea. knockback values are cracked. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They really are, but they kind of have to be for him to be good. Like. Yeah. His his weakness is just his uh, like he's got a couple weaknesses, but mainly mainly his weight. Like he dies so early, so like eh, whatever. We'll, we'll kind of he's like new Mewtwo, you know what I mean? Like Mewtwo in right. Smash Four, it was they turned everything up to eleven, and then he just dies. You know what I mean? Oh, Forward yeah. Smash. There you go. There you go. Forward Smash was the button uh, that was being used at the beginning of the stock, and then at the end of the stock to close that one out. Very nice job uh, by Sonics, but actually that stock I gotta say Meister did a great job bringing him all the way to about ninety something. Uh, before the stock was gone, because it was looking awful. It was looking like he was going to get zero to death, so gotta give Meister credit there, too, for keeping, uh, keeping it competitive. Oh, and another change move for Game Watch, of course, is the up air, right? He gave up the toot toot kill confirm in favor of a really strong juggle tool. Yeah. And for fair, like, one of his best just, you know, smack you away buttons in favor of a set play tool. So, I really have to admire how Meister has just seamlessly adapted to the new form of this yeah. character. And now, of course, it's two years into the meta, so... Um, maybe not so crazy now, but still, this is just one of the guys who's had faith in his underwhelming or, like, slept-on character for a really long time. Yeah, and I gotta say, too, I feel like he found success very quickly. Did he not? Like, I feel like it was, like, kind of weird, like, oh, he's winning, uh, you know, but it's not nationals or whatever, or he's only winning regionals, and it's with Game & Watch, so that's pretty nuts, and it's like, yeah, but, you know... Is it really that crazy, or is it just Meister like out top playering everybody or whatever? Is the character actually good? Let's let's put him up, and then he did so well at Summit too. Like he was he was a monster at Summit, so I don't know, man. Meister obviously a beast, but he's got a, a big mountain to climb here. It's Sonic with a whole stock lead almost, with the rage too. This could quickly spiral out and be a three-one lead. Yeah, he snuck onto the last more uh, Smash Four PGR right at like thirty-eighth or something like that, and then wasn't on the first ultimate PGR, and then all of a sudden he's top 10. Yeah. Which, yeah, that was the biggest, that was the biggest glow up on, on the V2 of the PGR, if I remember correctly. Like, un unranked the top 10. Yeah. It, it might have even been three that he got on for the first time. Top three? I don't know. No, 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 like the third, uh, third PGR. Oh, maybe it was, yeah. He might have been absent from two in a row. I don't remember uh, what his finish was on number two, but, you know, as it stands currently, I think he's sixth, right? Like, the, the most recent one, he's number six. I'm looking right now. I'm it's been so dude. long since I've had to consult a PGR, you know what I'm saying? I know, <laughs> I know. tournaments are, are done, and, like, the Wi-Fi meta is, like, half it's, players that aren't even on PGR. It's so funny because uh, everyone used to kind of clown on the, the Wi-Fi Warrior rankings, but now that's the truth. Like, that's what we have. Exactly. That is the ranking law. that we have. <laughs> that, it's the law, yes. You laughed at me. You know, be careful who you make fun of high school in high school, right? <laughs> that's the Wi-Fi PGR. So true. It's what we go off of, dude. Yeah, it, it's true. It really is. Um, All right, and Meister still trailing by quite a bit. And of course, trailing by two games, Sonic's in a position to move on into the Grand Finals, a place that he has been quite a few times in these Wi-Fi brackets. And of course, in real life tournaments as well, back home in DR, he's the number one player by a pretty considerable margin. There's some other talented players out there, but Sonic's being really the true household name, other than, I guess, Mena RD, who's a Capcom Cup champion and actually pretty nasty at Smash 2. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Events, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Okay, got the dive kick coming down from the skies. Meister actually managing to take the stock lead here. This is kind of a crazy turn of events. It's looking like he's getting mopped, and then all of a sudden, Game of Watch can just rip that stock from underneath your feet, even without a nine hammer. You know what I'm saying? This character has plenty of ways to kind of cheat you out of a life, but it doesn't matter. Like, that's just the way that this character works. He'll die at 70% too. So why not just give him the ability to do it to you too? Yep. Yeah, one of those characters who's like, that's where his balance lies in, right? It's like people people who hate on like Captain Falcon, I'm like, yeah, obviously his advantage state is, is stupid. It's so good, it's so dumb, but his disadvantage state is awful. It's so bad. So that's kind of how Meister, and, or how Game of Watch works. It's like, he's super light and he dies very easily, but also at the same time, his advantage state is really, really strong and he can also kill you very early if you get caught in the wrong spot. So it's kind of where the balance of the character lies. Right, and what Falcon has to 
you know, mitigate that terrible disadvantage they is weight, but in yeah. Game of Watch's case, it's escape options. You've got down uh -huh. air, which is just a crazy anti-juggle tool. You've got up B to get out of all sorts of pressure, whether it's, you know, out of a combo or out of shield. So there's a lot of ways for him to not get hit. Again, uh, it kind of reminds me of Koga's Crobat, much like Sonic does. He's a dodge tank to some degree, you know what I'm saying? Kind of not the most defensively oriented character in terms of his specs, but the ways that he has to avoid getting hit are crazy. Wow, waiting that out. Good pressure there from Sonics, but Meister's still able to slip, like you said, evasive. Oh, nice. What a mash out. Oh my, he barely touched the ground, dude. That was this fast. Is, this is a new Game & Watch meta. He's got to stop doing this bucket stuff under the stage or else he's going to he's gonna look at some nerfs. You know what I mean? That's, that's yeah. how it's, like, once you start playing the game, like, quote unquote, in a way that, like, is, is quote unquote, incorrect, like the planking and all, all that stuff that is kind of frowned upon by everybody in the world. That's when your character gets looked at. Once they pop the hood on your character, you never know what they're gonna do, and you don't. Mike does not want to see that happen to his character. He's gotta stop. He's gotta knock that stuff off. Man. Yeah, like just throw so they don't nerf your character. You know what I'm saying? If you go to a tournament in Japan and like it's one of those official Nintendo ones, and Sakurai's there or something, yeah, sandbag. Just, just, yeah, just, just sandbag. Yeah, That's That's probably why, no why prize money anyway. Look at the characters that Leo picked in the Invitational. Very, very, it was a he very deliberate. A, the kid had an agenda and he achieved his goals. He did a great job. Yeah, honestly, Leo is definitely the people's champion forever and ever for getting Bayo nerfed. Oh, wait, didn't even realize the timer. Jesus. And Meister <laughs> actually going to win by virtue of time. Yes, sir. That's how it's done right there. Well done to Meister. Taking that one down. That's the problem, is I feel like. <laughs> Approaching of this matchup in general is just such a problem because spin dash you need, really need to pick your spots when you're going in because Meister's throwing out he's throwing out the avatar state man he's throwing out all the smashes he can up B he's got so many different options and on top of that he's like the normal ass options too like uh, sh just shielding or just moving jumping anything he's really got to respect them and Meister he's not afraid to mash up the smashes dude he's gotta give credit for that one so game three going to Meister via timeout. Yep, we've got the earth bending with down smash, fire bending with forward smash, water bending because up smash is a scuba helmet, and then up B yeah. is, you know, the Ang move. The or, or up air. Yeah, or up air, yeah. But I feel like up air just doesn't have that same, like, legacy yeah. of being so annoying, that infamy that the up B does. Yeah, it's true. And what's the other one? Oh, Nair is also a good water bending one. Yeah. That's the best. That's, he had no idea on that day when he tweeted that. That would follow him around forever. <laughs> it's his brand now. It's great. It's I like that he leaned into it. I got to give him credit for, for taking the joke and be like, all right, that's pretty funny, actually. 1K subs, I want to see him shave his head and put the arrow on. Like M2K's new profile picture. Oh, true. Dude, yeah, I feel that. like Avatar has uh, made bald dudes feel like so much greater of chads than they did yeah. before. Yeah. Avatar and I feel like there was something else, too. Caillou and One Punch Man. Not Dragon Ball. Definitely One Punch Man. One Punch Man. Yeah. Dragon Ball the opposite. Caillou. Uh, what's that? A oh, the ball? kids show? Hmm? The kids show? Caillou? You don't know about mm -hmm. it? I don't think I do. Oh, damn. It's a C A I L L O U if you want to look it up. It's like this little ball kid. Oh, show. okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Definitely One Punch Man. That is. <laughs> Dragon Ball is like the opposite because the exactly. only ball people are like Krillin and Nappa. And it's like, oh, that's not good. Oh, Piccolo. And Piccolo's Roshi. Bald, and Master Piccolo. Roshi, yeah. Piccolo's bald. He's the strongest bald fighter, I think. He's got to be. It's Piccolo. Piccolo's the boss. I think oh, all the Roshi. Namekians are bald, right? So if there's any... Does that count? I, I don't even know. Like, I don't think their species can grow hair. So They whatever. look kind of cool with hair, actually. You know, like a little gray, like a little gray hair and uh, an old Namekians. I think those are cool. Oh, okay. I, yeah. Yeah, I'd be down for that. I honestly, I haven't watched Dragon Ball Z, so I don't really know. I just know what? like the iconic characters. And I told you, man, when we were talking about like how I'm like the least weeb person alive and you surprised me but, by being even even less. I haven't watched DBZ. That's that's how serious I am about that. But DBZ, but DBZ is like, it, it tra <laughs> it's like one of the animes that transcends anime. Like, completely yeah. normal. To watch DBZ. Yeah. yeah, like people didn't even know that was an anime when we were kids. Just like Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! and stuff. <laughs> Just like Pokemon, dude. Pokemon is an American cartoon. You know what I yeah. mean? Like that was, yeah. that was like like when you were a kid, that's what you thought. You're like, I was just like, remember uh, dude, the one that killed me forever was the um the jelly donuts. The the rice the rice balls being jelly donuts is a complete mind blow, dude. Did they say that? Yeah, they did, yeah. Brock said it, I'm pretty sure. What? I don't remember donuts, that. Man. 
pretty sure. I thought they were like pastries, though, for sure. Looking at it, I yeah. would never have guessed that it was rice, because like in our American minds, like yeah. man, dessert equals sugar. Like, what is that? <laughs> is that pizza? I don't understand. Is that a burp? <laughs> is that tater tots? We don't understand what we're looking at here. <laughs> I don't understand what I'm looking at on my screen. Sonic versus Game Watch spinning and chefing yeah. in the wrong direction, throwing out bombs. But hey, that's the beauty of Smash is that there's Ooh. all kinds of wacky characters and different playstyles that you can choose. And these two, you know, kind of off the beaten path, right? Like there are very yeah. few Sonic and Game Watch mains, despite these characters being quite good. Yeah, Game Watch especially is such a funky character, like in the way he's built. He's just, I don't want to say build different, but he kind of is, like, he just is, like, he's just, he's very different, he's a very cartoony, kind of funny character, Sonic is kind of the same way too, honestly, in some of his moves, but, yep, alright. Beat World of Light, damage list with every character on the highest difficulty, he's built different, man. It's true. Oh, nice, good, yep, just run away from that, there's no need to try to contest that up smash, even if you're feeling confident against it, there's no need to do it at this point in the game, you got a good lead. Okay. Looking for the two frame, I thought thought he was gonna try to swing the forward smash. Sonic's usually very content to just throw that out. And Game Watch, as scary as that up B is, when you go off stage to challenge it, it doesn't poke through like Lucina's would, for example. And wow, look at the movement! He knew he was gonna try to back off and just like hedge his bets, going for that double jump bear just to like threaten his landing. But man, Sonic's calling the bluff right there. Sonic's is so quick on his tech too. Like he's he's not just quick to tech, but also quick to act out of his tech. Like he's always thinking like a one step ahead uh, in order to get back to the stage. You can see him spinning exactly right there. Like just don't go near the game and watch. Just your goal is to get back on the stage. You don't have to mess with your opponent. Now's not the time to pick a fight. Just your important thing is to survive right now. So really, if he does that, and a clank and a turnaround grab, nice shot by Meister in that situation. Yeah, a lot of players will kind of just turn into a pile of spaghetti as soon as they see a clank and often forget that they can turn around very quickly. You know, sometimes they'll just throw the F tilt or whatever and not do something as fast or something that loses the shield. But it looks like Meister living and learning the matchup right now. Living on the edge of tomorrow. And let's see if this set's gonna conclude before tomorrow as Sonic is just hopping around these platforms. He got timed out last match, but now that he yeah, has he the lead, he might back. be trying to switch it up. Yeah. He's just doing, this is gonna be the strategy right here. I feel like Meister, honestly, I think he just might need to chill. Okay, no, Ah, nice, dude, he's been using his fares a lot more. Like, great fair placement, in either catching air dodges or catching some sort of uh, delay or anything uh, in the air from Sonics, but 55% is a decent lead. Oh no, that's gonna be, look at that, 34. That's what I'm saying about that uh, up smash in that situation, especially at lower percentages, you can get the follow-ups. Yeah, it's got such crazy low lag afterward. And, you know, normally you think of that as being a boon on shield, but also on hit, it's like pre-patch all of our up smash. Hey, my smash attack just links into some aerials, because why not? Mm -hmm. Now Meister shrinking the margins here in this match. Oh, but a quick, juicy combo from Sonics. And we're yeah, going to see him that's... just go for it. <laughs> That's what Sonic does so well, is like, he makes you think he's just gonna back off. You know, he backs up four out of five times. Is that a stock? Wow, he popped him all the way up to the top. I couldn't really see him behind the scoreboard. Nice job. This is gonna be really tough for Meister. He's gonna find a stock very quickly. He's got he's got two and a half minutes to take a stock and then also uh, rack up some more damage to take the lead. Yep, nope, nothing's happening there. No need for it to happen. So it won't. Why go in with a fair there? I'm not sure, but he did. Now this is where the struggle begins. Sonic's at a very healthy 56% here. He's not gonna die if he collides with an up smash or down smash. Well, I don't know, maybe down smash into forward smash will kill if he's near the edge. But he can kind of take these risks freely of not just spin dashing at Meister to try to build damage, but just around him and above him to stay safe and again, run the remaining two minutes on the clock. It's a totally viable strategy in a matchup like this. Characters like Game Watch struggle to rush you down and close gaps like this. Mm-hmm. This platform layout, this big old stage. It's gonna be really, really tough, man. A B, okay, okay. The spin shot too, look at the placement. Like the way he's moving around all these platforms is really good too, but now he's gonna have to fight the game and watch a little bit, or at least at least stare him down. Like there's no platform for him to kind of move around on like that, but even more damage, 21. That might be the nail in the coffin, honestly. A little bit of damage there is really gonna help because now he's got all the time, he needs to get KO'd first, and then he can wait on the angel platform quite a bit. He's guaranteed invincibility for a little while. And to get 21 damage, I mean, I think it's going to require Sonics to approach uh, Meister to get that much damage that quickly, so uh, there's no reason for him to do it, so. Yeah, now you can just burn a lot of time on the Angel platform, 
and just stick to this runaway game. Hope the platform transformation is active when you respawn. And that's if he loses the stock in the first place. Like, if Meister was chilling at zero, it would be like, all right, all I need is kill move. But it's like, now you need a kill move and a nice little low percent confirm. Oh, that was kill. That was crazy. That almost took him off the top there. The 69, big... clean. Yep. <laughs> yeah, not even a, a fraction of a percentage off there. Clean. Spin shot Just again. The purity. So that's that's the movement right there. Is you spin shot, or you hold onto your spin and charge in place, or you jump and air dodge down. Those are your options right there. Yep. Oh, we knew the platform was coming too. I see you, Sonics. Know the timing on that. All right. I, at this point, I would not be surprised to see Meister just concede. There's, there's nothing you can do. It's over. It's literally over. Yeah. GG. Well, you know what? Can't even be mad at him. Oh, the taunt, but you can't be mad at him. Honestly, Sonics is such a bastard sometimes. <laughs> He'll throw the taunts in there. He'll throw the, uh, you know, just the running away for no reason when there's, like, he's just in the lead for such a ridiculous, or yeah. by such a ridiculous margin. Um, but yeah, he really makes you feel it in the mental battle. But uh, Meister still showing up, getting one game, getting the timeout on Sonics. It's got to feel good, a little karmic justice, but um, it's going to be... Unfortunately, his end in winner's bracket. And now I believe uh, Chag actually is DQing from the event because I just refreshed wow. the bracket and I still see DeBuzz chilling in loser's finals. But maybe we could uh, get a word from production to confirm.